man, I wanna get you sick. to five below. I'm about to get these beans to this bean boozle challenge with the kids and um we've done it before but y'all never saw it so y'all see it. Y'all are here five below and uh just looking here to get the bean boozle challenge. Um, candy y'all so, to this, I need curbside service. Okay. So, that ain't curbside. These people are going to have to move up. All these people just, they don't want me to get curbside service. Right, so we got it, y'all. So y'all will be seeing that in a separate video later. Roses. I'm just coming here to get some dish soap. Palm Isle of 350. This 350 will last, though. Happy cat, peanut brittle. This our homie from from back in the days, yeah. Raphael. He called me a rose. We call it that rose. You know, get that low ski. We shop at Rose. Look, we get our low. Right, you, you go see us in roses. Yeah, you get that low. <laughs> so the weather is nice now, as you can see. The weather here is bipolar, and my hair. The humidity messed up my hair from earlier when it was raining. So we're going to go for an evening walk. The sun is shining. Fishy. We're going to walk down to the Red Box to see what movies they have. We were watching this good movie, though, with Leonardo DiCaprio. What was it called? Something Wall Street? Wolf of Wall Street. Wolf of Wall Street. That's a good movie. It was very long, though, so we didn't finish it. And I saw that it was nice outside, so I wanted to get some sunshine. So we were just talking about, you know, our weekend with our kids, our week with our other kids and our other kids that you haven't seen. You're like, how many kids do y'all have? Yeah. <laughs> well, we have... We have five kids. I guess I was the captain. I did it. Right. He has three. He had three before me. And then I had one. And then we had one together. And our kids live with their other parents. And that's how it worked out. I have a daughter that's nearly 18. And, you know, some bullshit just happened with that. We'll talk about it. Well, I could tell him. I don't care. You know, she just graduated from high school, and I wasn't invited. I wasn't invited by her. I mean, is that Sam? I, mean, I wasn't invited by her or her her father. And she went to prom. And she went to prom. You all seen the prom? The pictures on my Instagram. If you're not following us on Instagram, check them out. The Sick Show. And, you know, I wasn't called. I haven't talked to her since January. And, um, you know, she was coming around and we were cool. And she knows that I wanted to go to her graduation. I've been talking about it for years. You know, we would see her. She was coming over like every, every weekend, every other weekend. We were kicking it cool. Our teenagers kicked it together. We saw, we see, saw them the most. Our teenagers are who... Y'all just seen my kids for the first time. 
but hell, I haven't seen them in almost a year. Last right. time I seen them was last year Mother's Day. Yeah. And so. I mean, no communication with, no talk to or nothing. And I know they these are kids, so it's like they, they don't really got no control over what's going on. You know, so it, it can't be them. You can't blame the kids for that, man. Because here's the thing, if my kids stayed with me, I would make sure they talk to their mother. Like yeah. that would be that would be a priority of mine to make sure they know who their mother is because at the end of the day, you know, it's things that their mother can get them and I can't. You know what I mean? Just like it go both ways with that. It's things that I can get them that she just can't get them, you know what I mean? And you know, you shouldn't try to keep that away from the kids, man, you know, because kids don't ask to come here, man. Yeah, so so Sid, his situation, he has kids, he has two uh you know, two baby mamas. I, I'm not a baby mama. I, I'm an ex-wife. There is a difference, but, you know, in terms and, you know, me and my ex did have joint custody. So if you all want to talk about, you know, that kind of stuff. But, you know, people don't go to court. People don't show up to court. That's just something that people use to try to scare you, but you can have a court date and not go. Then what's going to happen? Nothing. We did come back to town. If people, you know, you know, really want to know why the sick show came back to town. Because I was fighting, I was fighting a child support order from the West Coast for a kid that was not mine. He had a Maury Popey situation. He was not the father. And that's the other little girl that you see, the oldest one. But I raised her from the time she was a baby. So it's like at the end of the day, I thought she was my daughter. She thought I was her fucking dad. You know, the only person that was wrong in that whole situation was the mother. You know, she didn't keep it real. She lied about stuff. You know, it's still a lot lying. of things, a lot of things wouldn't even happen if she would have kept it real from the jump. Hey, hey what's up, doing? man? All right. But she wasn't. Come here. You could have came. She didn't keep it real, man. So, it is what it is. You know, it ain't the kid's fault. You know, we still got much love for Samia. Yeah, so that's why you see, like, an extra kid if you try to, you know, calculate it with the kids. We have five biological kids, and then we have her because she's the oldest yep. of... No, I'm going to just go on this side. She, Sivish had a kid with that mother she came first and then he had two other kids with the same girl so her rule is the the other kids can't come if the one that the trick the one that was tricked don't come either so which ain't fair because my kids don't go kick it with her dad no so it's like it's just like a smack in the face every time she do that and we do feel the way, you know, we feel that, you know, Father's Day just happened and she was with us instead of being with her real father. And we know that they have a relationship, so we feel that, you know, it was some kind of some, I'm going to just say fuck shit going on. But we doing what we do. We doing what we do for the kids. And that's what you have to do. The parents not always going to do the right thing. Sometimes you just got to be bigger than nice people. Yeah. You know? There's nice people out here to try to, to, try to, I don't know. People are trying to bring you down way. and do things their way and not think about the kids and just, and just say, well, I'm going to do this because this is what I want to do. <coughs> you know, like the my ex, you know, with the graduation, he know that's all type of wrong. You gave a ticket to my father, but not me. And then how are you gonna give a ticket to somebody like an aunt? An aunt. Like, the fuck is that? The, the I aunt. Mean, I love my aunts and all that. That's cool, but, but an aunt over a mother, yeah, even I'm grandparents retarded. over a mother, that's some fuck shit. That's and you know that just that just show you that people are still, you know, mad. He been mad oh, yeah. since I got married. And you know what? You mad because because I got married to somebody else. And you had another wife and all that? What? My ex-husband had a baby while we were married, okay? <laughs> I'm not going to stay married to nobody like that. But we are an extended family, and we will talk about the things that, you know, we'll give advice to people that are going through extended family situations, and, you know, maybe our story will help y'all. You know, maybe there are some mothers out there that, you know, try to be right and give custody to the fathers too and the, the fathers try to take advantage of that 
maybe there's some fathers out there that found out that they were not the father. And maybe we can advise you on how to, how to do that and then just... Especially if they're trying to take you to court and take money out of your pocket. We did beat that, so hoodie ho! It took a long time. It was stressful. That was during the time that y'all didn't see us filming. We should have been filming then, but, you know. See, it was too stressful to film. It was too stressful to film. Real. Wow. First of all, you don't ever want to get tricked. Right. I mean, to get tricked by somebody. And, I mean, it was a trick because at the end of the day, when she found out who my kid's father was, I wasn't on the top of the list to get tested. You know? She knew exactly who to go to. So it was a trick, man. And then to be running around telling people I knew I wasn't that kid's father, that's ridiculous, man. That's ridiculous. Like she was a prize of win or something. Mm -hmm. She wasn't nothing. I mean, and I ain't finna be talking about nobody, but no. she definitely won no prize. Mm -hmm. And this is just a FYI for you guys that don't sign don't nothing, sign nothing don't without sign a lawyer. Nothing. Don't sign nothing without don't a sign lawyer. Don't sign nothing. I don't care who come in here. Just look, this is this how I got that. The doctor came in here. Talking about some damn, the kid can't go home until both parents sign off on this paper. And it's like, that's ridiculous. Like, I didn't know at that time, but to me, now that sounds so to me. Acknowledgement of got paternity our hooks in you. Once we got our hooks in you, yeah. how you gonna tell me that? Y'all just gonna tell me I'm on, I'm on the hook with y'all? That's cold blood. Now, if you sign that affidavit, you know, you have 30 days after that child is born to rescind that affidavit saying that you're not the father but if you sign that affidavit that means that you're the father and you do not they will not test you for dna and a lot of women know that so they have the men sign it so that's how he got hooked with a child support case and what was happening the girl was collecting money from the the real father under the table and then him through the courts. So she was getting double money. And the real father was such a nice guy about it. Such a nice girl that he was willing to do nothing to help me get them hooks out of me. He said he wasn't going, he said, I'm not going to be parading downtown to help you with that. I'm not changing her last name. I'm not doing none of that stuff. I mean, he actually wound up getting filed because we were looking for him. So we posted something on Facebook hoping that somebody knew him to knew him wow. and to tell him. And they did. And he was pissed. And then you go talk about that's the reason why he didn't want to help me. And he didn't want to help him get rid of his child support order because he didn't want to be on child support even though he was paying. Her. So, and then meanwhile. How stupid do that sound? It sounds stupid. And meanwhile, the girl never showed up to court. She kept returning the mail. So, so you don't have do to your, go to do court your when y'all say don't court. leave listen, listen all dads to be don't leave that hospital without getting that paternity test it's free there it's free it's don't free. believe nothing that girl say don't believe tears don't believe none of that get that test get the test get that mori done right then and there and then you'll know how to let them down then you'll know don't get or you can get the test at walmart and swap it yourself or whatever but you know, just because somebody say, yeah, I was only with you. Yeah, don't ah. that. And you say, our pussy was tight. That. Don't believe that none of that nothing. church girl shit, all that. That's all, that's all a facade. We man. wanted to, you know, get this off our chest, our feelings about, you know, being Because y'all don't know. And then y'all only, only see, y'all only see Saturn Q in here. Y'all probably be wondering, well, Dad, why the other kids don't come around? Like, yo, ain't too many people I would die for That I would lay down for, you heard? It's like my family My closest friends that's in my circle